If you know your way around a few tools, a table saw, a chop saw, and a nail gun are gonna make this really easy. And here's what else I'm using. Plywood, nails, hardware, safety goggles, wood glue, reclaimed wood, tape measure, sanding block, and a drill with a bit. The finished product will be reclaimed wood. And I've got this plywood that's already been cut to size. I'm gonna grab my reclaimed wood, we're gonna lay it across, I'm gonna measure, and I'm gonna cut it to size. For this door, each piece needs to be 36 inches in length. I'm arranging the planks in a way that I think highlights the wood's characteristics. Wood glue is used to hold the planks in place prior to securing them with a nail gun. With both sides of the door complete, it's time to cut the trim. Cut the trim to two inches in width using a table saw. Measure to the height and width of the door and cut with the chop saw. Then use wood glue and a nail gun to attach to the door. Those extra pieces of scrap wood, don't throw them away just yet. I'm gonna use this extra piece of trim to build a custom handle. Cut the door handle and braces to size. Nail the braces to the handle and use wood glue and the nail gun to attach to the door. Now it's time for the hardware. There are a lot of different styles to choose from. The key is to make sure it can support the weight of the door. Follow the package instructions for installing the hardware to the door. The door is built, but before I bring it in, I gotta install the track. Make sure the track is tall enough for the door and the hardware to hang without dragging. Your door is going to be heavy, so you're going to hit the studs and make sure you choose anchors that can hold the weight of your door and hardware. I have to sink this anchor into the wall. And I gotta drill a hole to be able to put the anchor in, but I don't wanna drill too deep because I don't wanna lose my anchor. So I'm gonna mark my drill bit right at the end with a little piece of tape so I know what distance I need to drill. So now when I drill, the tape's gonna hit the wall, it'll let me know that I'm at the perfect depth, and then we'll sink our anchors. Drill holes directly into the studs. This will help support the weight. Attach the rail to the wall with bolts and hang the door. That's it, a rustic barn door built to last.